is the latest film to drop on Netflix, directed by the Roosters Brothers, which is their first film since directing Avengers Endgame. When CIA's top asset uncovers agency secrets, he triggers a train of events that leads Assassin to be on a global hunt for him as they are sent by his ex-colleague. How's it going, storage hosts? It's Josh B.G. Fucker. Today I'm going to be talking about The Green Man. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this film, if you've seen it thus far, or if you needed a film review to decide whether you should or not see this film. And let me know that, that in the comments below. And overall, I just generally enjoyed the atmospheric nature of this film. The music was a good bop that really added to amp up the action that was really is thrilling throughout the whole film. Having a lot of different beats that really clicked well with the nature of what you're doing with this CIA agent on the run and having this really powerful just man that's just really good at what he does because he's trained in all the right moves, all the right motives because of where he's come from in his past, being a prisoner. And overall, you just enjoy the nature that you get from Ryan Gosling's charisma on the screen in this action star role and then getting Chris Evans as the villain of the story really adds a lot, of course, that we naturally get from his some of his roles in the past and you just really kind of get to enjoy the nature of what you get from an action all throughout and then adding in Ana de Armas into the mix having her action star role was just really entertaining to add into the mix as well and just overall the nature of this film is really solid but in some ways this film also had a few weaker parts where with all the positives set aside, you get pretty shallow characters set out throughout. They have this baseline intention of what they're doing, but you're not discovering a whole lot of motive besides a few details here and there about this child with Ryan Gosling character, but overall it's very shallow what you're getting with exploring these characters, finding out more about their past, or even discovering what makes them click, what makes them really go off onto being the good guy or being the bad guy that they are and what their motive is behind every decision that they exactly make. But overall, the set locations and cinematography was solid. You get some really long camera shots, the one shots that really helps you track the movement of what's going on, helps speed up the pace and really make you feel like the film's going by quicker than it actually is. And so I have to give it a solid 7 out of 10 that I just enjoy the film for, but it's not really one of the best stories out there. So let me know down in the comments below if you've seen this film or if this review helps you decide whether you wanted to see this or not. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out this other video over here that YouTube suggests for you or this one that I picked out personally for you of the previous Netflix film. And that's just all. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.